Hey guys, welcome to our Learning to Excel channel. Today we're going to be looking at the max ifs function in Excel, specifically using it to get the max value based on text. So here we have a table of orders, and I'm going to use the max ifs function to find the highest sale made in California. So here in cell K5, I'll hit equals, type max ifs, open bracket, and then we're prompted for the max range. So the max range in our case is the sales column of this table. So cell F4 to F605. The dollar symbols mean that I've made the range absolute. I'll create a video at a later date as to why that's important, but essentially it allows me to copy and paste the formula and that range won't shift. Happy with our max range, so hit comma, and then we're prompted for criteria range one. So criteria range one in our case is the state column of this table. So that's cell D4. D605, I'll make that absolute as well. Note with the max ifs function, the ranges have to be the same size for it to work properly. So in our case, all of our ranges have to go from row four to row 605. Happy with range one, so hit comma. And then finally, we're prompted for criteria one. And criteria one in our case is California. So type that in inverted commas. Happy with our formula there. So close bracket and hit enter. And there's a result. Highest sale made in California in this table of orders was 3,347. So with the max if function, you can add in as many ranges and criteria as you want. Uh, if we wanted to find out what the highest furniture sale made in California was, we can copy and paste the formula down here. Note that the ranges didn't shift because they're absolute. And then after criteria one, I can add a comment, and then I'm prompted for criteria range two. And then range two in our case is the category column of this table. So cell E4 to E605, happy with that range, so hit comma. And then finally criteria two in our case is the text furniture. So type that in inverted commas, hit enter. And there's the result. Highest furniture sale made in California was $1,706. So that's our Max Ifs video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more videos like this, or if you're struggling with Excel, or you have your own Excel problems or issues that you'd like help with, please subscribe to our channel and you can reach out to our team directly and we'll help you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.